Loretta McCready brings you up this way. I might ask you the same question. All right, what's this all about? Come up for a little Sunday dinner? You know how the job is, Doyle. Nights and weekends where all the good stuff happens. <laughs> Task force never rests. Task force? What, they didn't, uh... I'm sure they'll be contacting you directly. Well, a task force or no, you're stepping outside yourself, showing up my family home, aren't you? Raylan Gibbons. Right. Uninvited don't mean unwelcome, doll. You missed lunch. Can I fix you a plate? Oh, no, I'm fine. But I did bring you something. Mm. Ooh, apple pie. Of course, don't compare it to your home brew. Be a new batch soon. I'll set you back a jar with your name on it. I appreciate that. I also got some things here for the kids, if it's all right. Oh, come here, guys. Marshal Service is big on trinkets. Go ahead and take one. There you go. And that there is Eastern Kentucky's official Marshal's coin. How much is it worth? It's not for spending, just collecting. Justice is coming. Huh. Uh, doll, you take Loretta on and you entertain the kids. Grown-ups need to chew the fat here. Go on now. Yes, Go on, all you. You too, doll. The way she tells it, you saved her life. Well, it looks like there's a lot of us looking after her these days. What's that they say? Takes a village? Something like that. Might we have a word, Mags? Of course, you're all welcome to listen. Don't mind them. <clears throat> What's on your mind? Wondering if you know of a man named the name of Bobby Lawton. Name doesn't ring a bell. Fella got killed on that oxy bus a few days back. Turns out he was a foot soldier for the Dixie Mafia out of Frankfurt. Dixie Mafia? Lord, that sounds like a mighty dangerous outfit. <laughs> and they've been known to be, yeah. Such that hitting their drug pipeline ain't something we imagine that these uh, hijackers would have undertaken on, the, on their own initiative. I believe your boy Doyle inquired as to who they work for. Yeah, I asked him. They drew down on me. Right. I had no choice but to put them down. That's about right. Well, one of the hijackers named Elrod Platt, we got his cell phone records. Week before the hijacking show, he had numerous conversations with Dickie. Yes, he did speak to Dickie. I spoke to Elrod about buying an ATV for the business. We may never be able to prove otherwise, but I want you to know that I know what's going on, out of respect. Mom, I swear. Shut it. Marshall. You know I deal a little weed. Mm -hmm. And man of your age, you can't tell me you hadn't smoked a little reefer. I can't. And you know my position on oxy and meth and the rest. As you've stated it, yes, ma'am. And yet you find it acceptable to come in here and bust in on my family dinner, asking if I've had a hand in robbing a bus full of shit from a bunch of Frankfurt Pecker Woods. Max, I never asked if you robbed that bus. No, no, no. You're just being all clever, insinuating without asking. Trying to stir things up, that it? You tell me, Max. Is it working? Let me ask you something, Raylan. Fire away. Why do you care so much? I'm sorry. Come on now, child. You're gonna sit there on my lumber and tell me this has got nothing to do with the history between our families? With why my boy there hadn't walked right for the past 21 years? Frankfurt mom going to come over that hill bringing hell with them because of that bus. They'll stay till they've bled this county white. Whatever our family history makes, that's why I care. Sure can't fix you a plate? No, thank you. And that's some dessert. Nice of you to offer. You all enjoy the rest of your supper, hmm? Why didn't you tell me? I had nothing to do with it. Oh, other than shooting a couple of assholes to keep them from talking. Yeah, well, that. 
Look, I thought this was a good deal. I did.